Hello folks, Easy Ride here. Welcome to my next video. This is part two in my video series Operation Unicorn where I transform my uh, 2022 Honda CB500X into a bike my 4 foot 11 wife can ride. In this part we're going to lower the front end. If this interests you, stay with me. And welcome back. As I mentioned, this is part two. Part one was lowering the back end using Soupy's uh, lowering links. Uh, you might want to check uh, my video for that. But today we're going to talk about lowering the front end. Uh, some of the tools that you're going to have to get is a scissor bike jack. And you're going to use that to uh, lower the bike uh, once uh, you loosen everything up. And you're also going to need a uh, digital caliper, and that's to make sure that the left and right fork are exact. You have to get them pretty close. In fact, pretty damn close. Okay, so I'm going to show you what we did, and then I'll explain how we all did that. Right there you could see, well, maybe there, sorry for the lighting, it's January, it's cold, and I'm in my garage. As you can see, the fork right there, I dropped the triple tree on it. And they're both at one and a half inches, and that's as far as I felt comfortable of dropping the front end. Uh, in the description, uh, there's going to be a video from the Rally Raid guys, and it'll explain how you take off that front fairing. Because before you can do anything, that booger has to get out of there. Uh, this is a two-man job. It is not to be taken lightly. Uh, it should be easy, but it's not. And the Rally Raid guys don't really explain just how hard the damn thing is, and that's what I'm about to tell you. Uh, in theory, it shouldn't be too hard to get this uh, fairing off. Uh, you basically have to take this panel off right here, and then the whole fairing comes out as one piece. Unfortunately, underneath this uh, left side panel, you know, pointing at right there, there are three electrical plugs. Uh, Damn near impossible to get apart. My son, excuse me, yeah, my son, who's a uh, a uh, master motorcycle mechanic, took him an hour while I was holding up the fairing to get those plugs out. And then when that was all done, we found out that was another plug right over here on the right side underneath this panel that the rally raid guys didn't mention. Could be because that runs my. Uh, heated grips or my little power point here I'm not sure but yeah so you have three plugs down there and one plug up there to deal with uh, and it's a two-man job and the plugs are a real booger man I, I can't overestimate how hard it was to get them plugs apart it shouldn't be that hard but it was and uh, but anyway like I said you take that panel off there's a couple bolts and stuff the rally raid guys will explain how to do it one thing I would say different than them, which I do the next time I try this, underneath the fairing, I don't know if I can get to it, but there's two bolts that hold the front of that fairing on right there, those two bolts right there. I would loosen the bottom bolt and uh, not take it completely off, and then the top bolt I would take out, and then I would pivot the uh, fairing down while uh, whoever's taking those plugs apart. And that might make it a little bit easier. Like I said, I had to sit there and hold on to that damn thing. Other than that, uh, you know, honestly, after I was done with that, I told told my son, I was like, you know what? Maybe I should have just paid the damn Honda shop to do that one. Uh, in theory, it should not be that hard, but it was. That fairing's a real booger to get out, and you got to be real careful. It's very expensive, and it's easy to break. Uh, and then to lower the forks, you put that... Uh, that scissor jack underneath it and uh, you stabilize the bike and uh, put the scissor jack underneath it you loosen up the top triple tree and the bottom triple tree I'll leave the torque uh, uh, torque uh, things you talk the bolts down in the description and then you screw down gently the uh, the scissor jack and the weight of the bike will drop the uh, triple trees or raise the uh, forks however you want to look at it you got to be really exact on this uh, might have to take a rubber mallet and kind of bang it around a little bit 
and uh, to get it just right. But make sure it's just right. Torque it all up. Put everything all back together again, and then you're done. Uh, like I said, it, it's a very hard job. Scale a one to ten. This was probably an eight or a nine. It, and it shouldn't be. It was just getting them damn electrical plugs. This plug that's up front here under this panel it's buried in a, a plastic sleeve and you can't get your hands in there you can't see what you're doing it's very hard to to unplug it and then to plug it back in was even a pain in the ass man so just something to be aware of you know you may might be worth a hundred bucks to pay the honda shop to drop it down an inch and a half but uh anyway uh i guess that's it uh my next uh video it's going to be on chopping the seat down Right now, that bike sits with no seat on it. sits right, uh, right around 26 and a half, which in theory, my wife, when she's not sitting on a seat right now, can get most of her feet down, which is good. So next, I got to take about three inches of foam out of the, uh, the seat, and we'll see where we're at. Anyway, I hope uh, this inspires you if you're kind of a lily putting or a hobbit, you know, to, uh, you know, be able to get a nice uh, off-road bike. Well, you know, as off-road as you can get. And uh, if you have any questions, leave it in the uh, below. Don't forget to give this thing a like and appreciate it. Thank you. Bye.